Couple left handers. Well, starting out Masson in the white and the black. Torquay in the green. Two big, big men waiting underneath the 90.7 kilogram cruiser weight limit. They are indeed heavier than that. Come fight time, way in 24 hours ago. But two big, strong dudes. Not much is known about Fabio. One thing we do know, Andy, is he's uh, got a massive KO record. Obviously, yeah. 15 of his 21 wins have ended in KO, so we know he's got some power in his punch, that's for sure. Number one ranked cruiserweight in Italy. Former European champ, so he's got the credentials yeah. on the board. Nice, smooth right-hand lead. It was in this very room probably 18 months ago that... Uh, Floyd Masson came of age yep. in on absolute war with Mark Flanagan. Will Sulis, our referee, one of the best in the country, is not going to cop that. Delivers a warning on the run. Masson down to the body. So too is the Italian. Sitting here next to Joe Opatea, his face studying everything from head to toe. Is this how you expected Floyd to start? Yeah, Floyd, um, I've done many rounds with Floyd. He's got a high work rate and he, he loves to punch on. So yeah. This is going to be he, entertaining. He oh. is. He's, a, he's becoming a boxer, but he's just a genuine fighter, isn't he? Yeah. just wants to punch. Yeah. And we could see that with Mark Flanagan, Andy. Yep. You saw he was boxing at times, but he got caught in the scrap as well. And that's why he was the fight of the year for 2021. And he's only had one fight since then, Andy. Yeah. He's only had the one fight last year. And that was against another international opponent uh, from India. But yeah, a little bit he of inactivity. Broke his hand, broke yeah, his that's hand right. Exactly. Yeah, so he had a bit of time off for some, that. Yeah. What are you looking at with the Italian at the moment, Jai? Um, this Italian's a front foot fighter. He's got all his weight on his front foot, so I feel like Floyd needs to use that jab, blind him a bit. Mate, are you picking things up when when you're actually in the ring? Are you noticing those type of things from the get-go? Uh, definitely. You, you, what you see inside the ring and what you see outside the ring are definitely two different things, but they're, they're the sort of things, you know, he's, he's leaning on his front foot and stuff like that, so, you know, it would be straight onto the jab. End of round one. End of round one. Masson Torquay. Yeah. Nate, what'd you like? Yeah, well, what I liked is both boys have got plenty of power. You can see that. Both boys are loading up and there's no there's no feeling out process. Round one, they were trying to finish it in round one. Put it that way. So I think uh, I think there's gonna be it's whoever whoever can last the distance is probably gonna put themselves in really good stead to win this fight, but that was a high work rate for the cruiserweights, and both boys, you can see, they've come here to win. This Italian is here to win, make no mistake. These guys are so confident. I was speaking to the camp at the weigh-in yesterday, and they were 100% positive their combatant was gonna win. And Floyd Masson, on the other hand, had an unbelievable camp, based himself in the US for this, yep. had sparring with top tenors, he's ready for this, and this is his moment. The stone cruncher, Fabio Torquay, far more experienced, has amassed twice the fights, twice the rounds. So I think we can say safely it is a huge test up for Floyd Masson. His advantage is being on home soil. Torquay doubling up with the lead hand. Trying to find some power with his left. And it would not surprise if this just developed into all-out war by round five or six. One thing I like about Torquay, he's not a still target. You can see always bopping, always moving, guard highs, changing his angle. So it's not a, it's, easy, it's always a moving target for, for Masson. It's very difficult to pin him down. We've seen Floyd change before our very eyes over the last two years, but he looks as physically fit and strong, Jai, as I think 
I've ever seen him. He looks good, man. This is his first world title shot, yeah. so I'm, I'm sure he's got a full bank on him this year. Oh, just a little low. Yeah, that was a bit low. And we recommence. We're in the middle of minute of round number two. Masson, the black and white on the right. Torpe in the green. As he throws a oh. lot of punches, he almost got collected yeah. there with a right hook, then got a straight left. Floyd's got that lead hand down already. Yep. Just like the way he enters this Italian, he's, he's, he's like I said, he's always a moving target. It's very not clear cut to hit, that's for sure. He's going to have to earn it here. He's uh, he's scoring shots. Is Floyd Masson? That right hand down of Floyd's. So he's either not worried about the power of the Italian. And he can afford to drop it or he's falling into old habits yeah, already. I, I think he's falling into old habits because I, there's plenty of power in those punches. Once again, like I said, a very high knockout percentage has the Italian. So... Weighing in just under under your limit of 90.7, Jai. What are you oh. what are you entering the ring at weight wise? Um, my last camp, man, was probably my best camp making weight. Um, I weighed in about uh, I think 89 kilos. I weighed in that, so you know I, I don't got any problem making weight when, when we just train hard. How much do you put on from weigh in to fight? Um, I think the next day, because we have, for the IBF, you have to weigh in the next day. You're only yep. uh, allowed to put on six kilos or yep. something like that. So um, I, I think I was fully clothed and weighing about 95 kilos. So I can put on six kilos in a day without yeah. a problem in the world. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I think I could do it, but it's the thing if I should do it. You know, so. If you've got dad's jeans, you can do it. You can see some replays here from round two. It was a very explosive round for both boys. Both had their moments. Both throwing with plenty of venom in their punches. You can see loading up big time. You can see putting his whole body weight into his punches is Fabio Torquay. Good performance so far for bo from both boys. Will Silvers, our referee in the middle. Only a little fella, he's got the big voice, and he is not afraid to step in between these two big, big men. I can't emphasize that enough, just how physically imposing these two are up close. 6'2", six 6'3", six in the old language. There, thereabouts. Son doesn't want to end up against the ropes. He knows that against a guy with 15 knockouts and 21 wins. Ooh. Another fun fact for you guys as well is talkie has been the 12-round distance a couple of times, whereas Masson hasn't. So no. if this gets into deep water, potentially that's advantageous for the Italian. Mason changing. Masson, should I say, changing levels. Nice right hand at the exit there. Yeah, good shots there from Masson. As he rips into the body, that's talking. Jeez, there's going to be sore ribs in both camps tomorrow morning. The, these body shots, they are thunderous. You can hear the air come out of the, the body at ringside here, and they go back into the ropes. Good shots there from Masson, straight down the barrel. Hooking to the body as well. Yeah. Oh, mouth guard's out. <laughs> Letting them fight on. Help, stop now. Mouth guard of Fabio. Punched out by Floyd Masson. And there's a bit of blood. 
and I'm trying to establish where that is coming from. Is it the hairline of Floyd Masson? I think maybe I can see a little bit of claret coming from there. Maybe wrong. There's blood over Fabio's face. It could be somewhere under Floyd's beard. It could just be the nose of Fabio. Oh, oh, good Masson shot there. walked into one. Wow. And he took it well, though. Yeah, he did take it well. <laughs> 30 seconds remaining, round number three. Taking shots like that, it comes down to the training camp, and Dry probably attest to that. I mean, you haven't done the work in the gym. You can't take too many of those shots without going down, but you can see a testament to his fitness. He's done the work. He's able to stand up for shots like that. Two big balls, clunking heads on the inside. Oh, wow. This has just got war written all over it. Yeah, it definitely does. Last couple of seconds of the round. Yep. They touch them up at the end. Our guest commentator, Jai Opatano, is all about getting in wars and, and what is required, but this is starting to, to look a bit familiar, our mate. Yeah, no, this is a good fight, man. They're, um, they're definitely standing toe to toe and just punching on, so it's entertaining. I think Floyd could make it a bit easier if he was to use his side to side movements, you know, yep. using his straight punches a bit more instead of standing in the pocket. His Italian's really strong in the pocket, but you know, that's just Floyd Mason. He just loves to punch on, so. Yeah, you got it. Taking it deep within the corner. Yeah, trying to Steve Rollins there. He's been based in the US with him, like I said, for this whole camp, or a lot of this camp. And we get ready to rip back in. Floyd Masson, Fabio Turkey. Turkey is come here with not much being known about him. There was limited vision for Masson and team to study. Masson just with that right, that lead hand down. And we've got more blood being spilled here. I think it's the beak again of Okay. Oh, just looking over the right eye of the Italian. There might be a Mason mark. Oh, good shot again, but there was the comeback there for Masson. Every time Fabio scores, Floyd is able to play the counter-punching role. Well, he's throwing big, Andy. So yeah. when you throw big, you miss big as well. So. That's, that's the problem. So he's, he's loading up every punch, but not all of them are landing. And when they're not, they're leaving massive gaping holes in his defense. Good shot there from, oh, that was a good shot from the Italian there. Again, head on head, chest oh. on chest. And Toke. Wow. What, Violent with his approach. What a chin Masson's got took that so well and he's come back foreign himself what a fight this is turning out to be and we're only in round four we still wow. got eight to go wow body shot there from the italian in the middle of all that right above our commentary position still trying to see if it's a cut over the right oh. eyebrow of the italian man he's putting his whole weight into every punch is the Italian. You can see he sort of throws his whole body into every punch. Oh, that was a bit low. That was a bit low. Yeah, he's been pulled up too. And they go back into it. Like bulls again. Head on head now. Yeah. They're just... And here's something for young refs to look at. Will Sulis. Best in the biz, 
letting him do it. Yes, let that's, it, that's what let we him go and sort it out. That's right. We're, people want to pay to watch the fighters. They don't want to watch the referees. That's the truth. Talk. On the front foot, last couple of seconds. There's some bombs in this one. And there's a lot more claret. There might be a cut underneath the right eye of Fabio Torquay. I tell you, they get a 60-second break here. They deserve a 60-minute break already. Jai Opatai, how are you seeing this? It's a, it's a war, man. They're, um, they're just sitting head to head and just uh, sort of punching it on, so. You'd like to see Floyd box a little more as opposed to that fight mentality? Definitely. Um, I think Floyd could make it a lot easier if he was using his feet a bit more and using his straight punches. He's only getting hit on the inside. The other Italian guy's struggling to sort of find his range when he's uh, long, so... Into the corner. Fabio on that, yeah, they're working above the eye. Yeah, the cut men are in their money tonight. You can already see plenty of marks, plenty of cuts already happening on the Italian's face. And that was probably the wrong thing to do as well, blowing out the nose. He's probably going to get blackened under the eye now. Good body shot to start off the round for Floyd Masson. The cut is in a position that's favorable to the Italian. It's above the eyebrow and as a result blood flow comes down your eyebrow and eyebrow and then down the side of your face yep. it, it doesn't get in your eyes the doctors aren't really ever concerned about you know the size of the cut or the size of the blood flow it's if the blood is interfering with with your vision correct yeah that's right exactly Italian slowed up a little bit here or is he just biding his time? Little shots on the inside from oh, Masson. Good yes, left hand yes. from Fabio Torque. And that's exactly where Masson doesn't want to be. He needs to go back to the center of the ring, do whatever he has to do, throw five hooks to get back to the center of the ring, but he doesn't want to be on the ropes there. Floyd on the inside. Oh, oh right, right hand. Right hook there by Torque. Tell you what, Masson's got some whiskers on him. He has taken a couple of bombs and just doesn't look phased at all. And this is a guy, as you said, number one in Italy. There's a low yep, shot. Yep. It's, it's been a couple there. One more. He's going to be deducting a point of just lip red. What he said right there. Tries to push through the gloves of Floyd Masson here. Push and power through. Right above us. And these shots, these body shots in particular, echoing around the facility here at Eaton Hill. And just the grappling, the pushing, just zaps your, your gas tank yeah. as well. So this is a torrid fight. Both boys, you can see that condition as Masson gets caught again on the ropes. He just got to stay away. That's where he needs to be. Perfect. Boxing long. And that's where he needs in his element. Blue corner, Stevie and the crew just begging Floyd to move. Yep. Keep moving. Very much like Jai, they don't want to see him just standing there trading shot from shot. Two punch combination over the top from the Italian. He just built like a rock, isn't he, the Italian? He's yeah. very hard to move. Like you can see, Floyd's tried to move him a couple of times and grapples, but he just can't move. He's like a man mountain. the top yeah. the Italian not an easy one to score no not at all end of the round here I'm gonna ask Jai to analyze the Italian if you're in the corner what are you saying to him now um, the Italian just needs to keep pushing pressure and uh, keep throwing bombs you know that, that's working for him and um, Floyd's sort of falling into that trap he, he needs to yep. stay long and he needs to box smart to beat this guy you know yep. that's He's fighting the Italian's fight at the moment. Hopefully he sort of starts to use his feet a bit more. Yeah, I somewhat agree. Oh, I definitely agree, I should say, because the Italian, want, yeah, he, he, he wants it in close. You can see that, whereas Masson's arguably the better boxer out of the two. 
And right here, you can see, is exactly where he doesn't want to be because he gets caught with two and three shots on the ropes. And he's just so hard to move, like I was saying throughout the commentary. He's just physical dominance. If body language is an indication here, the Italian looks absolutely done yeah. in the corner, yeah. talk, eh? Like, he needed that 60 seconds and he used every bit of it. Yet, he stands up, comes out, and fronts up again. Round number six, middle rounds here. For the vacant IBO. Bruiserweight title, most recently held, I think it's Jack Massey the end of 21. The sign. Oh, the mouth guards yep, out. It's out again. Let them separate. Oh, oh there's, there's a, a big, big right hand there from the Italian again. Both boys throwing plenty of leather to start off this sixth round. Mouth guard out for the second time. He's got to get back to the center of the ring here. There's Floyd Masson. Back on his toes. I know it's hard for the big boys, but ring position is what he needs. We have spoken at length about the cuts on the face and the bleeding nose of the Italian. Uh, Floyd Masson already won't be going in any beauty contest for the next <laughs> week. He's battered up, especially that left eye of Masson. Well, it's like he's his feet here. Love it's it, yeah, love right. it, exactly. I was I just about that. to say the same thing, Joy. He's just, he's back on his toes now, using his feet, and he's boxing well. That's much better, that's it. Move, now move different angles. Because he's so tough, we don't always focus on his boxing ability. Certainly has it. Oh. Now they're just trading in the corner one for one. They're punching in turn. Oh, again. Now Mason looking yeah. to get off the ropes and Torquay yeah. unloads. Yeah. Venom in these shots. Oh. This means a lot to both boys. You can see the IBO world titles on the line. Both boys have come here to win that. This is brutal. Fighting the house down. Back against the ropes, Floyd Mason. Back against it in this mode and he's able to turn and get back out into the middle of the ring can you believe we're only halfway through this contest there is still six rounds to go in this contest after the next 20 seconds they wow. cannot go the distance at this rate surely they but are, we've said that in other cruiserweight yeah. contests before man they're fight, they're throwing as many punches as a lightweight here and what an incredible speed. Oh, and two good shots there from Masson. And there's a third. He's starting to wail away now. Last couple of seconds of the round, but a really yep. good end of the round yep. for Floyd. Wow. And a really good end to Floyd using his feet, then using his hands. Hope you're enjoying this wherever you may be watching Ace Boxing. Once again, putting it on show. Incredible performance so far by both boys halfway through the contest. Plenty of punches being thrown for the cruiserweight. I can't believe I'm saying that. The amount of punch output has been enormous as we see some of these replays. Both boys not only throwing plenty of output, they're throwing every punch with power as well, which yeah. zaps the energy tank as well. So both boys, testament to their fitness, a testament to their training camps, a testament to their heart because they are showing grit like nothing else. From where we sit, it's been awesome. I bet Floyd and Fabio don't feel quite that good at the moment. They come back out. We continue on in the battle for the IBO World Cruiserweight Championship. Not one of the big four rated just outside the big four belts. And this is the second half of the contest. Yeah. 
on back against the ropes. And is doing a nice job there, at least on the restart to turn and not be on the ropes. But the way the Italian just continually pushes forward, leaves Floyd with very little option. Still bobbing and weaving the Italian, making a hard target, you can see, and then he just loads up every now and again. Almost a low shot from the Italian. And they get into wrestling mode up against the ropes. A short left hand there from Floyd. Didn't load up. Economy of punches here from Floyd Masson. He's, he's not going silly. If you can feel the Italian tiring. Jai, when you're in there, can you judge how tired your opponent is, if they're, if they're vulnerable, if they're ready to go? Um, yeah, you sort of see them start to tire. You see it in their face. And also when you're in the clinch like a lot like they are, you hear their heavy breathing as well. Okay. The sun against the ropes. Oh, okay. Oh, Unloads. These guys are starting to breathe a bit heavier, but their work rate hasn't changed one bit since the first round. No, it hasn't. Incredible. On the inside again. Majority of the ring is being wasted because when these two go head to head or chest on chest, they don't really need the other 14 foot of the ring. And he may be a world champion sitting alongside me. But Jay Opatire has learned a valuable lesson tonight when in commentary always wear a black shirt. <laughs> A beautiful cream and round, maybe a little black <laughs> fleck in there with uh, some blood stains of an Italian and an Aussie. I can't tell you how many suits I've thrown in the bin. Yep. Oh, oh good, good right hand. shot, Masson. This is just so physical, so tough. And Fabio Torquay copying an absolute spray from the partisan crowd here. Nervous judges, nervous authorities, promoters. I have no idea in terms of scoring for this. Yeah, it's one of those ones that it definitely isn't clear cut. They're both uh, fighting together. Once again, punching in turns at, at times. Nothing's, nothing's uh, clear because they're so close to each other, fighting in the phone booth, like you said, Andy. So, Who have you got, if you, thought, if you had to nominate now, who, who's in front? Uh, oh, it's a hard one. What? Honestly, I, I could almost give it a draw. It's almost split 50-50. What about you, John? Man, it's hard to say, you know, the uh, Fabio's, I think he's landing the clearer punches, but I think Floyd's throwing more punches, yep. so it's just hard to see what they're scoring. Yeah, exactly. Back into it. And it'll be just more of the same. And we certainly don't mind round number eight. Dude, they've done a terrific job with the cut of Fabio talk here. However, I think there is a new cut just underneath his right eyebrow yep. as well. So he's got, yeah, and they're calling now right yep, eye, right yep, eye yep. from the, the blue corner. I think he's cut on top of and below. Yeah. And the, the below one is the one that should have Floyd's attention. Floyd looks like his face has been in a demolition derby. <laughs> And all this close oh, again. Oh, oh good talk. shots. Yeah. Uh, yep. All this leaning and just holding on. It just, yeah, once again, zapped the energy. Both boys 
testament to their fitness. Wow, I still can't believe the amount of punches these big boys are throwing. Round after round after round. What is it about you crazy cruiserweights that do this to each other? Or Torquay with a long punch there. Mason with a couple of good shots as well. Floyd Masson really looking into the eyes and deep into the eyes of his Italian opponent here. Asking him what he's got left. How much more? They're out on their feet. Yeah, oh and yeah. it is no surprise. Yeah. And there's still four rounds to go after this round. Well, wow. oh, mouth guards mouth out guard. again. This one's Floyd. Yep. Is it? No, it's the Italian That's again. The one, yeah. We would have to be getting awfully close to an official warning or a one-point deduction. You know, in fairness, Andy, I don't think he's doing it on purpose. I think they're hitting each yeah, other so many times, it's getting knocked out. out. You know, it's, he's not, you, can not, you can see he's not intentionally trying to spit it out. He's throwing punches from oh. that. Out. Wow, there it is. One point. There it is. I don't think it's intentional. In his defence, I honestly don't think it's intentional. Minus one point. Wow, that could be absolutely huge. Round number eight. In such a close fight. And this is better for Floyd. Yeah, On his toes, you can see, Floyd. boxing away. This is where he's good. That was good scoring shots there from Floyd Masson. Floyd Masson, very good on his toes. Yep, he's, a, he's the better boxer of the two. There's no doubt about that. The right eye of the Italian is just about shut. Just about shut. Last couple of seconds of the round. Good round for Masson. Terrific round for yeah. Floyd Masson. Yeah. I think he's taken the round, plus he's taken the extra point. That's a two two point swing. It is a, how, however you you had a judge leading into that. That's a two point round yep. to Floyd Masson. Round number nine coming our way as we take a look at some of the highlights. And boy, weren't there some highlights from round number eight? Show me a low light because there's more. There's less of the low lights, let me tell you, because it's been firing from the very start and it has not stopped. Round eight was another brutal round. Both boys throwing plenty, but it was a Masson round for me. He was back on his toes at times, scoring at will. When he boxes, he boxes so well. We're at war here in the north of Brisbane. Fabio Torque, Floyd Masson. They've been wiped down, watered down. For 60 seconds, they were able to take some deep breaths without getting punched in the face. And back into it they are. The Vaseline getting plenty of use over both of Floyd Masson's eyes and on, under and over the right eye of Fabio Torque. It's the lead eye of the Italian too. It's a big cut underneath. Yeah, it definitely is. Doesn't want to go back in a straight line, line like he just did then, Floyd Masson. Very dangerous against a big puncher. He needs to come off on angles if he's going backwards. Jai, you're looking at the cut and thinking, this is my ticket to a stoppage, or does that not enter your mind when you're in there and you're tired? Um, definitely, it, it puts a little target there, but you know, it's just about boxing smart and using yep. your feet. You know, I feel like Floyd. Wobbering away once again, the visitor. Just a few little taps on the inside. The cut is opening up. Yeah, it, it certainly has, mate. And the son on the end of a right hand there yep. was just a jab. What about the shirt of our referee, Will Sulis? Looks like a butcher. Yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. 
Your right hand from Floyd Masson. Oh, mouth guard's out, but that one's Masson. This one is Masson. Yep. Mouth guard is out for the first time. Was it three times I think the mouth yes. guard came out for yep. the Italian? They deserve a breather. Steve, you're on, taking his time. Yep. Back into it they go. And straight away. Nice straight left from Floyd. Yep. That's better boxing from Floyd. There's two oh, three good shots. Here we go. Wow, look a at minute to go, round oh. number nine, and these two don't like each other. Oh, what, what a, a fight. What a fight, all right. This is crazy. The intensity has not stopped from the opening bell. And we've still got plenty more action to come. Can they make it to the final bell? Oh. Masson clobbered three times. We're talking fight of the year. You bet we're talking fight of the year. And what about an introduction to your first 12 rounder for Floyd Masson? You couldn't get any harder, even if you tried. Oh, a swing and a miss by Fabio right at the end there. And both boys take a well-deserved break once again. Masson in the best physical condition of his career and he, he needs to be. The big Italian just keeps throwing and he's standing there pushing the fight. Look at these shots. The left eye of Floyd Masson. You can still see that's that's not his lead eye. That shows how effective the Italian has been. Oh, yeah. Lead hook that he's been throwing the Italian. You two are younger than me, your eyes are better, but I think the Italian's left eye is all pretty much shut. Sorry, right eye, should I say? Lead eye. It's definitely swell swelled up. I still think you can see through it. It's still. Enough there for the vision, but I uh, just, yeah, he's he's a warrior. You can see that's not going to stop him. Round number 10. It has been like this since the second minute of the fight. The first, they had a little bit of a peak. Yep. Some amazing fights so far tonight, and this is legit main event stuff. Yeah, that was better from Masson back on his yep. toes again. He kept it long and he scored three times, but Turkey is back on. Floyd keeping it short and boxing. That's exactly what our co-commentator, Jaya Patea, wanted to see rounds and rounds ago. Yep, it's Floyd using his feet. There we go. That's his game. You can see he's got all, holds all the advantages in that space. Every time he uses his feet, he starts to win the round. Yes. Yep. Left hand, right uppercut from the Italian. Floyd responds with an uppercut of his own. So much of what happens now, especially in close, is it's just habit. It's natural instinct. Yep. Yeah, they're running on fumes at the moment, it's, but they're still going. You can see the punch stats would be enormous. That was a good body shot there from Turchi. They've both earned a coldie at the end of the oh, night, haven't they? A coldie or 10. Good boxing here from Masson. Back on his toes. Sticking out the jab, keeping it long, but here comes Turchi marching forward and breaking that distance once again.
they will look like a bus has hit the pair of them tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yes. Mason on the end of a right hand. They booed the Italian at the start, did this Brisbane crowd. They will stand as one for both athletes yep. if we see the final bell. Agreed. Talking. Leaning in as he has done since round number three. Making Masson carry his weight, trying to wear him down. And Masson is now going into unknown territory. He is going into round 11 for the first time in his professional career. Doc coming in to take a look at the cuts on the right eye of the Italian. Yep, as we see some replays from round 10, another brutal round. They had their moments, both boys, once again, like every single round. But Masson, when he's on his toes, that's when he was doing his better work. A classic unfolding in front of our eyes. They deserve longer than 60 seconds rest. This is a beauty. Just keep in mind there was that one point deduction earlier on. Oh, I think that oh, might be defining in this fight. Could be massive. Here we go, the penultimate round, round number 11 for the IBO Cruiserweight Championship of the world. Floyd Masson in the black and white with a tinge of crimson now. <laughs> Fabio Torque in the green. Masson using his feet, not his forehead. Yeah, boxing well again is Masson. Using the ring, circling left, circling right. It is the most brutal, most unforgiving, and the loneliest sport there is. And the toughest. Make no mistake about it. And all those qualities, those personal qualities, have been showcased by these two who have engaged in a war, but done it in the right way, yep. fought in the right spirit. Masson on the back foot for throwing punches, making the Italian miss. I like this from Masson, much better work. Boxing in, boxing out, scoring points and, and getting out of there. Yeah, that right eye is very close to being closed now from the Italian. Masson, much better. Punching. Making the Italian miss. Honestly, Fabio Torca, he is running on fumes. Just on instinct. You've been there before, Jai. You know what it's like. You're in the deep water where you're just relying on those things that become habit over all the years of training. Because they're deep waters, man. I love this shit, you know. You can't teach hard. No, you, you certainly cannot. Talking. Still has that power. Yeah. A big right hand from the Italian. Yeah, but I, so I see Floyd Masson taking over the last couple of rounds. Yeah. He's back, been back on his toes, back leading with the jab, boxing a lot more and scoring those shots. Much better boxing. 20 seconds remaining in the penultimate round. They both come in swinging. Wow. Oh, talk about two bulls coming together. Masson's going for the NRL tackle there. What a, sh what a performance. They are oh. exhausted and again they swing with bad intentions. And somehow we have made it through 11 rounds. We have got three minutes remaining. Unbelievable. 
a crazy work rate. Andy Raymond, Nathan DiCarlo, Jaya Patea, Joe, what are you saying to Floyd now? You know him well. You know how he fights. You know his makeup. What are you saying with three minutes left? Um, man, you know, this is uh, what he's been training for. But it's just going back onto what we said earlier, you know, with his feet work, he, he wins it. Every time he uses his feet and gets a bit of side, side movement happening, he's, he's winning every time. So that's what he's got to just continue to do. Nervous corner. Floyd and Fabio. They're too exhausted to be nervous. You reckon you've seen it all in 33 minutes. This next three, oh. get ready! <laughs> this Let's is for go. the Bacon IBO. Cruiserweight Championship of the World. Floyd Masson, Fabio Torque, Australia versus Italy in the war, the all-time war. It has been uncompromising. It's been downright violent for 30-something minutes. How they are still going, I will never know. What a performance, and two good shots there from Masson, using his feet very well. We've been seeing that all night. When he's using his feet, he's scoring with ease. Has right either right of right these right two right bulls right. got that one big shot? You would suggest if a knockout hasn't come in the first 34 minutes, it's not gonna come in the last two. And to be honest, it doesn't, it doesn't deserve, this fight nah. deserves to go the distance. Yeah, agreed. The sign, four of five, punch combination. Where is he finding this energy? Halfway through the last round. How are you scoring it at home? Australia or Italy? And how's the respect level between the two, but for the two from us? I have a lot more respect after the fight, I'll tell you that much, because they've just gone to war, and they're still throwing right now with a minute 25 to go. Great shot to start this exchange from Floyd Masson. And the countdown has begun. And these two athletes will be delighted to hear the final bell. Torquay, I don't know where he is finding his energy, but he's got 60 seconds left. So too Floyd Masson. What a fight. What a fight. Astonishing talent, heart, commitment, brutality. And they are standing as one. Wherever you're watching around Australia, we have got 40 seconds left. Enjoy it while it lasts. This has been one of the best we have seen. What a barn burner. Honestly, both boys, testament to their fitness. You've got to tip your hat to these boys. They have put it all on the line here, and the mouth guard comes out one final time. Why not? Mouth guard is out, and that is going to rob us of, I think, one final flurry. The bell has been sound. Uh, the time has been off. I think we've got about seven seconds. Are you ready? Oh, look at the egg on the head of Fabio Turkey. Stand up, Australia. Stand and cheer. This is what it's all about. Two big boys punching on and punching on till they've got no more. What a fight! What a night! Wowee! Floyd Masson, Fabio Torquay have given us what I would consider the best I've called in 20 six odd years yeah that's a that's a fair call i i can't think of a better fight either to be honest that is unbelievable especially from two big men to throw the output that they did is remarkable you crazy sons of guns they embrace now they smile and they share the accolades of a sold out venue here in Brisbane.
Andy Raymond, Nathan DiCarlo and Jai Opatea. You are crazy. <laughs> you are crazy bastards. <laughs> what on earth have we just seen? Wow. We go back to round. Zoulis. He looks like he's been working in the abattoirs for a week and hasn't had the chance to change his shirt. <laughs> Ace Boxing Promotions. This is what they do. This is what they've done for over a quarter of a century. It's time. Two winners here tonight, but one will have their hand raised in victory. Let's go to James. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's get set to make this one official. First of all, a big thank you. Ed Levine, Justin Kennedy from the IBO for uh, putting this fight on, our sanctioning body. A big thanks to Oxmire Properties, our main event sponsor. And also, we have uh, Daniel Hannay in the ring from Hannay Lawyers to help us make the presentation of the belt. First of all, ladies and gentlemen, give both of these men a round of applause. They deserve your accolades. What a show. Vacant IBO Cruiserweight World Title. We go to the judges' scorecards. Judge Adam Height scores the bout 115 to 112. Judge David Craig scores the contest 117 to 110. Judge Matteo Montella scores the bout 115 to 112. All to your winner by unanimous decision. And it goes to the blue corner, Floyd B O D. Looks filthy, Fabio talking. But I believe a better man won. The better man won tonight. Rematch, anyone? Yes, please. <laughs> yep, let's go to James. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I will grab a few words with our winner, Floyd Masson, IBO World Champion. What does that mean to you? Man. Words can't really uh, describe how I feel, but firstly, I just want to thank Baby O Man. He's a warrior. So everyone, give him another big round of applause, man. He's a warrior, bro, and fought a tough fight. But uh, as I said, a dream come true, and um, I just dug deep and just did whatever it took to win. You've dreamt about this since you were 15 years of age. Right here, right now, how does it feel? All those years of hard work to have that belt. Man, words don't describe how I feel right now. It's just uh, a dream come true. And I just want to thank my wife too for all the sacrifices she made. And I'm uh, just excited for the twins to come along now. That's the exciting side story to this, or just as big a story you are. Your wife had on yourself for expecting twins. Are they here yet, or you don't know? Yeah, she's in hospital right now, man. So she's giving birth to uh, two beautiful young girls. Uh, April Fools, everyone, April Fools. <laughs> she, might be, she might be on her way down from the hotel to jump in the ring. So hopefully she sees us. Well, here she is now. Ladies and gentlemen, so this is Hannah. Well, so we'll get her uh, in, into, into the ring. But last, while she's here, all these people chanting your name, all these people watching, tuning in to see you. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. So, Floyd and Hannah. What do, what do all these people mean to you, Floyd, chanting your name tonight? Man, uh, amazing. Angelo bringing me over here, and Glenn, he's, he's supported me since day one, since I came over. Angelo bought me a car so I could get around. Glenn supported me so I could train full time. Hanae's been one of the best sponsors you could ever ask for. He's looked after everything for me, and and obviously uh, Coach Steve has been awesome over in Vegas and I couldn't thank him enough. And obviously all my sponsors, man, I can't do this without you guys and the support from uh, my friends from Tawamudu and uh, Perth. Just want to thank everyone that came out tonight. And a final question I'll say, first of all to the audience, did you enjoy that 12 rounds of action? Well, uh, Floyd, did you enjoy that 12 rounds? Yeah, 100%, I just got to do a daily devotion. 
the famous one I could do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen, brother. Put your hands together for him, ladies and gentlemen. That's Floyd B O D, my sword, your new IBO cruiserweight champion of the world. Amazing, amazing performance, an amazing night. Uh, Fabio Torque and Floyd Masson.